Welcome to the Slide Gittins Tech Simplified channel, and I'm going to be covering how to pass the AZ500 certification, so make sure you watch this video to the end. Always be learning. If you're planning to take the AZ500 certification, I recommend if you're an engineer who is an Azure administrator looking to gain more skills in security, or if you're interested in expanding your cloud security knowledge, the Azure Security Certification definitely can help with that. If you're an M365 engineer who also wants to learn a little bit more about Azure security, because as you know, M365 is built on top of Azure, it would be helpful. If you're new to the security field, I probably wouldn't start off with the MS500 unless you're focusing on security, but I'd probably start off with the AZ-104 first and then proceed to the AZ-500, or you could take the AZ-900 to gain the foundational concepts about the Azure platform, and I do have a video that you can see up here that talks about that. And additionally, who is it for? If you're a sales rep, I probably wouldn't take this because it goes into the weeds on how to implement and install and it expects you to have experience with installing some of the concepts within the certification. So definitely do that. So let's go in now to what resources could you leverage to be prepared for this exam. First page I have to tell you about is the Microsoft Docs page dedicated for the AZ500. This is where you're going to find different updates regarding COVID, if the exam has been changed or the last time it's been updated, as you can see here, who is the exam for, and what would you learn from taking this exam, what are the requirements for this exam. If you want to go to your security dashboard, you can go here, scheduling the exam. You want to go here, the cost of the exam. You also can see the skills measures page that we're going to talk about a little bit more that goes into an outline of the exam. Then also it goes into some ways that you can prepare for free or paid. And then it even goes into related certifications and a different exam resources that you can leverage, right? One thing that is pretty cool here is the exam replay option. We all expect that we're going to pass it on the first try, but just in case you don't, if you buy one, it gives you a free code to take it a second time if you don't pass it on your first attempt. So those newer to Azure, who maybe not be 100% confident, this might be a good option for you because it's cheaper than buying the test twice. You know, we all agree that we're going to pass on the first time. I actually didn't pass it the first few times, and I'm rescheduled to take it um, in the mid-November, mid so wish me luck on that. Let's focus on a resource that I created to help you plan out your studying for this exam. Now it's time to take a look at the study guide I put together. I love to start off with the skill measure document because I think think that's the source of truth. It's going to tell you exactly what's going to be on the exam and what areas that you need to understand and study to be prepared to ace the exam, right? And it tells you the breakdown on how many questions and where it's going to be focused at. So you can see they have a heavy emphasis on identity on this certification. Next is security operations. Then is secure data application. And lastly, is implement platform um, protection, right? So that's where you want to spend your time on. And there is a download um, link that will open up where you can download a PDF to go on for more information. Next thing is the training. Let's talk about the different types of training that you have. So if we go back to that docs page that I showed earlier today, scroll down, you saw there was some free training here. That's this free training. It's a good overview to get started, but it's definitely not enough to pass. Uh, let me say that with an asterisk, is that if you have a lot of experience, you read that, you might be sufficient to pass. I found that most of the people that I talked to, it was not enough to pass the exam, just to be quite frank. Um, they're also, if you're a Microsoft partner, so if you resell Microsoft Security, um, you have options for free training, and they do have some training within the partner portal. And the good thing about this is it's free. It's, train, it's certified Microsoft MVPs delivering the content. But the one caveat is a little bit older. So as you can see earlier, the test was updated on September 24th. The last time this training was updated was in June. So you'll probably get you like 70% of the way that with a little extra outside work following the course outline, you'll be able to pass. But again, it's a little bit older content, but it gives you enough of the concepts. Happy holidays. I need a reason to show you some puppies because you know I love puppies. But let's get back and continue learning and how you're going to pass this AZ500. 
Another one that I like is the Cloud Academy training. This one is great. Um, you might have to sign up for a seven-day trial. I pay um, the monthly SKU just to go through some of the content because I like to keep learning. Um, but it's a great place. It's pretty good, and it also tells you what information it doesn't cover in this pre I mean, in that lecture series. And then you can go ahead and use the below links to fill in the gaps that it didn't cover. Plural site. It's phenomenal. I found this to be pretty good um, in terms of preparing you for the AZ500 certification. If you have the time, I say listen to both the Cloud uh, the cloud uh, Academy and Pluralsight. If you don't have the funds or the money for that, then maybe if you're a partner, listen to the partner training and the Pluralsight. It works because it's pretty, it's pretty thorough. I actually likes, I like it uh, a little bit more than the Cloud Academy one if I had to pick. Ingram Micro, if you're a partner, there is a really good class that you can take um, that is four days, right? And it goes deep, hands-on, and I might say you got to be close to 80 to 90% to be able to pass that test. It's a little bit more expensive than the other training, but if you are a partner, I'm pretty sure if you reach out to your Ingram Micro contact, you can definitely probably get some um, discounts on this. But this certification um, training, to me, was more thorough than all the other training that's online. So if you are an Ingram Micro partner, take a look at taking this course. So now let's take a look at different practice tests that you can take. Um, this is what helped me. So one thing I would recommend, what I didn't do on my first test, I should have took a practice test first to see what I was good at and what wasn't I good at. Instead, I tried to do the training first, right, and then go into the practice test. But I found that I knew some things that I spent a lot of time on. So when I took the test, I didn't pass on the first or the second try, right? So now that I'm trying to take it again, now I'm taking the practice test, just level set where I am and where I need to spend my time on, and I recommend that. So it's three different options. You have Waze Labs, which is $25, pretty much $26, let's say. Is The practice tests are good. They're pretty up to date. They're pretty solid. You also have Measure Up is the official practice test, a little bit higher price tag, about $100, Right, and it's thorough, it's going to prepare you the most for the exam. I feel like because it's almost to me to, as close as you can get as taking a regular exam, it's pretty good. Um, uh, the exam topics, believe it or not, is free, and the questions are fairly good. I found some questions to even be on the exam, um, but um, I think it was really good to help me see how the question was going to be structured and how I'll be applying the knowledge that I learned. And one thing I say that I didn't put on here is sign up for a free Azure trial. They usually have 12 month trial. Create like a free um, email account and then sign up and do the 12 month trial or I think it's the one month trial. And let's practice these things because what I found that I, I took all the training first, took the practice test, but then I didn't have hands on knowledge. I didn't pass the exam. So try to implement these tools. A is gonna help you learn it better. And B is going to help you prepare and pass this test. I wish I would have done it on the first go around and I wouldn't be having to take it over again. Um, the next thing I did is uh, one thing I like about Microsoft, everything in the skills outline guide has an associated doc page. So what I did, it took a long time. But what I was able to do is connect the doc page to the actual exam um, bullets from the study guide or the skill measure document. So you have all that here. So if you're not a person who likes to watch videos and you prefer just to read and dive a little bit deeper, all the pages here is updated very recently. So it matches the September study guide. And I think this would be a great, great um, addition to your studying. I found it to be very helpful for me. Um, so hopefully you, you find it to be the same. Now that you have a great understanding of how you're going to pass and be prepared for the exam, now, how do you get this great study guide that I created? Well, first of all, make sure just to like and share this video. And then also add me on LinkedIn, right? Make sure you connect with me and ask me in the message, like, hey, Sly, I watched your video online. Can you send me that AC500 certification? So if you're already like my channel and you like the video, make sure just to send me a message on LinkedIn and say, Sly, hey, I watched your video. Uh, can you please send me that guide? And then if you could, 
create a post saying like, man, I watched this amazing video online. Share it with your followers. Tag me in it. And I make sure to send you over that guide. So together we can grow. And I hope all of you found value out of this um, video today. And let me know in the comments what other training videos I can do. I'm working on an MS100 video. I just finished the study guide. So that should be out shortly. So stay tuned for that. And I'm about to get back into doing some other technical security videos on how to using the Microsoft security and Azure platform. And I am planning to do some collaborations with a few of my friends who are well versed in Linux as well as that Azure security. So until next time, Sly Gittins is out. Peace.